What's up guys, it's Michael from Lima Charlie Tech and today we're going to go over the STAC DST Medical Pouch Gen 2. Um, just a little disclaimer real quick, I did buy this with my own money, this was not sent to me to review. Um, so with that being said, let's get into this. So this is a, or the DST Medical Pouch by STAC. This was formed or produced with um, SWAT in mind and um those type of guys who are kind of they don't need a whole bunch of medical gear on one person because they're going to be there for maybe you know not they're not going to be there very long um usually in and out relatively speaking um and then you have a guy you have a mass casualty medical guy usually on your SWAT team so who has a ton of medical gear so this is relatively small this is kind of your low profile high speed type style medical pouch so in order to access it take this little fancy dancy thing right here pull down flips open and then this is a tearaway style medical pouch so just real quick you got that little flap held in by velcro quick release and then in typical STAC fashion you have no proprietary uh, mounting solution you have to either buy WTF straps or mouse clips or whatever so you got this bad boy here you got this little elastic two elastic pieces to hold your tourniquet on top very nice um, this is your little your little uh, handle to pull away from the from the pouch itself so you have something to give yourself a little bit of leverage and then she opens up another less uh, elastic spot i have another tourniquet in there and then you have this little mesh organizer here um you can't fit a whole whole lot um i think it's up to a six inch israeli bandage nothing crazy thick um, this is really all I could fit in there without, uh, being worried about busting bags open. I got, what, two quick clock, three quick clocks, hyphen, couple hyphens, couple quick clocks. Other than that, that's really all this thing can hold. I mean, you could really stuff it in here and, I don't know, I'm weird about my medical stuff. I, when I have it on the front of a chest rig, I try not to stuff it like crazy, crazy, crazy. Because if I have to hit the ground, I don't want my pouch blown open, I don't want the zipper blown open, I don't want my medical gear blowing open so realistically i mean this thing doesn't hold a whole lot um it does its job it holds the important things that you're going to need to hold in a normal medical pouch um and yeah so i mean really that's about it this isn't too complicated too intricate it's pretty straightforward now i just want to mention one thing I reached out to STAC, I emailed them, I shot them a message on Instagram, I can't get anybody to reply back to me, but if you decide to buy this pouch on the STAC website, it's not advertised as this pouch for some reason. It says DST Medical Pouch Gen 2, but it shows a different pouch. It does not show a pouch with this quick release buckle. It shows a pouch with a normal clip, style clip like this. Um, but if you go to the SKD Tactical website and you go to their pouches and you go to the STAC DST pouch uh, Gen 2, it shows this pouch. So whether or not this is the Gen 2 or the one on the STAC website is the Gen 2, I'm not real sure. They're both advertised as Gen 2. It's relatively the same. You may want to reach out to them before you order it if you can. I couldn't really get anybody to get back to me. Um, and it's been about a week, so I wanted to get an answer before I got this video out, but it didn't seem like that was going to happen. So, just a little warning there. If you go to the STAC website, you go to SKD Tactical website, different looking pouches advertised as Gen 2. Regardless, it's a good pouch, I think, in my opinion, depending on what you're going to need it for. If this is just a backup, this is going to go in your car, this is going to go on an extra kit, this is going to go on the Mrs. kit, this is going to go on just a, just somewhere that you need extra medical gear potentially this is a good kit this is a good pouch i think um i'm not going to keep this on mine on my personal rig um for those of you who know this was 901 chest rig is my personal rig um i will not be keeping it on here i'm going to go back to the J jtech style it's a little bit wider it's a little bit bigger 
um, and I could fit just a little bit more in there, including my scissors, which I really like to carry on me. Um, but I do like this pouch. I think it's a good buy. Um, I'm going to leave like normal. I'm going to leave the link to the description or <laughs> link to this in the description. Um, and that's really all I have for today. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Get in the comments section. Tell me how I can improve and maybe something that you would like to see in the future. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.